Today we have come to the beautiful coastal town of Malindi to check out a newly opened boutique hotel who have promised to show us a side of Malindi that we might not have seen before. This is like strawberry juice. Cheers. This is like strawberry juice. Wow, yeah. look at that. So to Welcome to Saffron Garden Melinda. Got my eye on you. Yes, that's right. We are coming to you this weekend from Saffron Garden Resort in Malindi. And we're having a weekend off, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She's banned us from computers this weekend. <laughs> well, lucky I didn't pack it. I said daddy didn't pack it. <laughs> we yeah. didn't bring our computers. These guys have promised us, which is what we're quite excited about. They have promised to show us a side of Malindi that we may have never seen before. So they've got lots of cool things organized for us. And we're looking forward to seeing a different side of this place that we've basically been neighbors with for quite some time. And apparently we're going to see some wildlife. But who knew? Hopefully. Yeah. You've got something on your head. <laughs> Time to go and explore Malindi. What do you think? I think let's do it. Let's go and see something different. So our first activity of today is something that we did not know that you could do in Melindi. In fact, I don't think I've even heard of it in Kenya before. Falconry, which actually I have never done in any other country either. So I don't know what to expect. They tell us we're going to love it. Let's find out. Yeah, what's over there? A snake. What kind of snake? Python. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> African area. So in church area, you have a logo for this guy. Okay. Give us some action. What do I stand here? his wing meant to be on your head. Oh, it's saluting me. It's protecting me from the sun. Yeah, exactly. Funny. As long as I keep my eyes, I don't mind. <laughs> Okay, touch one finger. 
Malia, thank you. You see the wings? Mm -hmm. This is the mother because they have a problem with the wings. You see the wings there is that? Yeah. Paulina. Paulina? Paul. What did you think? It was great. What was the best part? All of it. But what did you like looking at the most? Was it the birds, the crocodiles, the snakes, what? The baby terrapins. The baby terrapins, you liked that part the best. But they wish I could hold them. You wanted to hold one, mm. but they didn't let you, which is a good thing. All right, we're moving on to our next stop for today. And as usual, we will do a full recap at the end of the vlog as to what we thought of each activity and give a little bit of feedback. So stay tuned. Saffron HQ after our morning of activities. Time to refuel, relax, and they've still got more things planned for us this afternoon. Hippo watching, apparently, which I didn't know was a thing. So I'm really, really intrigued to actually see where these hippos apparently are here in Malindi. But right now, check out. What's this? This is food that is well needed. <laughs> <laughs> also, by the way, I just want to say, the hummus here is really good hummus. Basically, the hummus here is very good. Then I have a feta salad and my favorite squeaky cheese, halloumi. Apparently. I thought you were on holiday. <laughs> I like to get involved. <laughs> what are you building? I'm building a it's new a watch tower. <laughs> if you look at the formula of carbon dioxide that is emitted, what the mangrove does, it traps the carbon that is in the atmosphere. And what remains is the pure oxygen, which is O2. That's why we should plant more mangroves in this planet. We have uh, birds that crawl. Uh, like the guinea fowl, helmeted guinea fowl. We have haze, we have monitor lizards, and dick dicks, the Sunni dick dick that is indistinct. And the big animals are like the hippopotamus, and that is one of the most uh, dangerous animals in the planet. What we do is, if you see the animal close, we retreat. We have understood living with the hippos keep our distance. Mm -hmm. So that is all. The rest, we go and enjoy. And uh, which direction was it heading to? Do you know? Which way is it, was it going? Yeah, take look, a at look. look at the footprint. Look at the I've already made a hole. Well, see this one? Mangoes in the pink yeah. trying to film the hippos in the river and they just keep popping their heads out just for a second uh, and then straight back down by the you time i press record continue. i think i've caught a couple they're literally for like a millisecond and then they go back out back i think in. the tide's quite strong and the water's quite deep <laughs> got him it? got him where <laughs> Right, we have returned back from our afternoon of adventure and they have something else special set up for us that we are going to see. Hi. Hi. Are we uh, we're heading down? 
You go this way. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So we have a movie night set up, but not just a movie, right? We're having dinner yeah, and a movie and together. A movie, yeah. Fantastic. I'm excited. Malia, what's going on? I don't think this cat knows how to sit on laps. What did you call it? Spotty. Spotty. This is Malia's favorite cat ever. Is it our last breakfast? It is our last breakfast. It's the last breakfast. Tomorrow it's back to as simple a boring breakfast as possible. I think we have an hour until we leave yeah. for our last activity. This last activity sounds like a lot of fun and I'm glad that there's a bit of cloud cover, let's put it that way. But it's also something that you wouldn't expect to find around here. So, so before we go off to our last activity organized by Saffron Garden, we want to show you guys around. First of all, this is the entrance into the property. Then you come to the lounging space. We have a Beautiful big swimming pool over to my right. Then we've got some beds on either side, perfect for lounging. I fell asleep here for like an hour yesterday and it was just amazing. It's really, really private and just quiet and serene. So if you're looking for a little escape, this is definitely the place. The restaurant is over there. Really, really, really beautiful and very beautiful at night actually. So if you want a romantic dinner or a little setup with a movie like we did yesterday, definitely reach out to these guys. Okay, and onto the room. I would say probably my favorite feature is the hanging bed. I just have a thing for like outdoor relaxing spaces that are this kind of vibey overlooking the garden. Really beautiful. More chill out space. And this is the room. Bedroom over here. space bathroom is really big and spacious you've got even a cupboard where you can put your stuff away a walk-in wardrobe you mean most rooms have a cupboard that you can put your stuff true in. true so yeah this is like you have lots of space over here but yeah all in all really really beautiful property they have 13 bedrooms here and we've been told that you can hire the entire thing so if you have an event this is a perfect venue we were just talking about the swimming pool the space in the restaurant you've got your movie nights you can come and do romantic getaways 10 minutes from the airport it's it's honestly is we've had an amazing time it's been very peaceful welcome to stage park are you excited no <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you're nervous. Said, I'm a little bit excited a little, a little bit nervous. nervous it's a good feeling it's a normal feeling Come on, Malia, you got this. You got it. <laughs> Are you sure this thing is going to catch me? Yes, very sure. You're not going to fall. I am. And if you do, it's mum's fault. Yeah. She bailed on you. Yeah, she's never done anything like it before, so she tried the first bit. The rest got a bit too high for her. So, so now fine. you have to do the rest. I'll be the guinea pig. It's been a while since you've been on one of these. Yeah, you have to go back that way. <laughs> Malia, how was that? Yeah. Scary? <laughs> In hindsight, sandals were probably not the best footwear. <laughs> Why did you go in sandals? I wasn't really expecting this. Woo! Any last words? I leave to you all of my debts. <laughs> Touching the floor. Let's
Home sweet home, back in Watama after a nice weekend in Malindi and it was really nice to get away and not actually have to travel too long to get somewhere, right? It's probably one of the, the fewer times that we, it took us not long to get to. It's like 20 minutes <laughs> down the road. So whether you're staying in Malindi and want to come to Watama or vice versa, staying in Watama and want to go to Malindi, both is actually very possible. We had a really, really nice weekend staying at Saffron Garden. It was actually just what we needed. It's a very chilled place, but at the same time, very family friendly as well which yeah was, which was really cool beautiful room beautiful pool beautiful staff and the little private cinema that they hosted for us was just like the icing on the cake that was amazing i've got to say it's not very often that you can do such experiences and you know you only see that on social media so it's really nice to actually experience in real life i was surprised to be actually able to have dinner there little dinner set up and then they made a little like relaxing area for us to sit there and munch on popcorn yeah we had a really good time thank you saffron garden for having us it was the perfect weekend to just chill as for the activities that we did we had a lot of fun getting out and doing something a bit different i did not know that there was a falconry here in kenya didn't know that existed it was a really interesting experience just for transparency we are always a little bit dubious of any attractions that involve animals we asked all the relevant questions when we were there in terms of why these birds are there and they have all been brought in because they have injuries that means they cannot survive in the wild now anything else to do with that we would always recommend do your own research Research, go there experience it decide for yourself do you feel like you know how are animals being treated and things like that all of the animals look well taken care of and it was a really interesting experience to be able to get up close and personal with some of the birds so that was cool and it was interesting to get out and see the hanging gardens that I think we chose a wrong time to go though we were speaking to the gentleman that owns the place and uh, right now in Kenya it is ridiculously hot so he actually had to remove a lot of his plants from outside because they were all just getting scorched to death but it's cool it's a, it's a nice little place the hanging gardens of Melindi if you want to just go and have a little walk around 10 minutes 15 minutes if you're into plants it's very cool <laughs> so later in the day heading over to Camp Gedeng it's a really unique place actually one thing the gentleman himself Gedeng he is really committed to the environment and to conservation projects planting mangroves and things like that Malia really loves protecting the hippos yeah protecting the hippos I actually started that camp back during COVID when people were actually poaching the hippos because they weren't getting enough food. So they started actually protecting the hippos, then went on to protecting the mangrove forests and growing things there, and now just generally bringing the community in. The main thing they're trying to do there is he wants to offer a wild experience for tourists and Kenyans alike that is affordable, that people can actually come and their kids can experience the wild and they can actually have this immersive experience. Which and is the cool thing is just, it's in Malindi, you know, you don't yeah. have to go far, you usually have to go go into like the national parks or exactly something a bit further inland this one is just on the coast so Very and he's a cool guy isn't he's he? a super cool guy he wants everyone to get involved with the things he's and doing he's there. really funny i like and uh, so yeah whether you want to go there and just have a drink and watch the sunset they do little bonfires and things there as well or if you want to actually go there and camp it also looks super cool overall a really nice weekend that we felt that we packed a lot of stuff into but still felt we were able to chill and unwind and let off some steam so all the things that we're talking about we will of course put them all down in the description if you you have been to Malindi before and have some recommendations for us or for our amazing viewers please comment down below what have you been up to in Malindi what did we miss what is a must-do thing otherwise we'll leave it there see you on the next one bye